Hello Panda YouTube, welcome to today's video. I regret to inform you the K rules are added again. Yes, it's true. Another K rule went on a tear during a bracket last weekend at Shine, which is a huge tournament that happens in Boston every year. And I think he's a New England K rule. I mean, I would assume so because the crowd was going crazy and uh, he beat some very notable players. And we're going to take a look and watch it and say, why? So let's take a look. K rule, not a great character. Let's throw that out there. So K rule against Peach, I feel like this is, you just pop neutral air and try to just aggress on her. Cause she has to swing at the right time. Wait, was that two hits? Forward air dash attack is 38. That's criminal. And Rue's extremely aggressive. <laughs> but uh, K rule does a lot of guessing. You just have to not play sloppy, not play predictable. Forward air, he's just guessing where you are most of the time. F tilt's guessing that you're mashing. Nair as well. He does this down air so much, and he gets away with it so much. He'll do the down air on the platform like that, it'll combo into either up smash or up air. He wants that down air so bad. Yeah, Kiro's also low key a matchup check. What is this? Why did they buff forward air? Damn, those forward airs look fast. Look at the way he's pushing those out. Oh, that is obnoxious. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oh, he spams neutral get up too. He gets away with it every time. Wow, he just re-grabs ledge. It's kind of hard to punish for Peach. Wow, he snipes it. Yeah, Peach can't really kill K Rule here. Even forward air from center won't kill. You have to push him to the ledge. Yeah. This is tough. Oh my god. Nair into dash attack is gross. I hate that K Rule is such a bully. He puts you here and there's no good option. Get up attack probably works, but uh, I'd still. It feels scary to do, right? Like. I, K Rule's ledge trapping, low key kind of good. He uses it really well. He's down to camp. Look at it. Look at this. This is awesome. Woo! Can't get hit by crown return. Wow. Wi Fi, am I right? <laughs> oh, wow. The down smash? Okay. Full stage at 93. Good lord. Rolling through. Don't get down aired. <laughs> oh, good wait. Oh, he waits. Interesting. If you're going to choose to wait, you might as well, like, like, four tilt or something. Huh? What was that? Look at Peach down here. <laughs> huh? Let me out. Yeah, he's dead from that. That was a really good reaction. Camera players shouldn't have good reactions. What the hell is that? What a weird throw kill. Why did they add that in so late? That boy got scooped. Panda has a new pink line coming out that benefits the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. 20% of all purchases go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Buy up. Please. This actually is kind of impressive. Like... We're four years into the metagame, and K. Rule can still beat top players. You know what I mean? Like, this is one of the best Peach players on the planet. Oh, dear. What percent? 96 before the throw. One thing to note, Mutis gets tilted pretty easily. Um, it's gotten a lot better, uh, but... It's still there where where if there's a matchup that especially a cheesy matchup, oh man. There's no one I feel like Moody's is very good, funny enough, at dealing with Steves, but these are the type of matchups that oh my gosh, that I could see Mudes getting incredibly tilted. Again, I've known Mudes since he was literally like what, sixteen? It's it's been I know his family, like it's been years and, and I've seen Mutes come a really long way, but these are one of those matchups where it's it could be it could be interesting. It could be literally zero to one hundred. Um Brujo is playing very well when it comes to not only exploiting the armor, the crown armor, the belly armor, but knowing the profiles that K Rule sets into, which is how he got that down smash. But this is what Peach does best. He didn't jump right there, which prevented him from getting caught by that side B. 
I thought he, I thought he was a goner. That Sabby would have killed him done properly. The fact that the crown comes back is so mean. Like, if that move was on a better character, it would be like a top five move. What's he, what's he do? He's covering the platform because he knows he wants to go there. He gets, I didn't know you could actually punish it that early. Wow. Yeah, getting off ledge seems hard. Is capable, especially against Peach specifically. I love K rules trying to be ambiguous. They're like, oh, I'm on the platform. Don't jump. As if they're not going to drop through. They always, like, wait a little bit. Ah, okay. I, I'm dropping through. Okay, you got me. Jump read. Shouldn't have told. I don't think he should have pulled the turnip. I think he should have just kept moving. Wow. That's not okay. That's socially unacceptable. Oh, that was disgusting. Yep, peach platforms and a heavy. Name a better ice cream duo. I do love that late ultimate is a lot of this. Like, not going for the guaranteed follow-up because it's not guaranteed, right? But you go for the down throw, and then it you know people are going to air dodge. K rule here doesn't have a strong enough... Like, he has no threat from behind, right? So if you down throw K rule and he's facing away from you like this, he can't pop anything. He could neutral air, but that's going to be in front of him, his belly, right? His back air is too slow. So he has nothing to threaten you with. So you could just wait. And he's going to do something evasive, and he does, and then you get the kill. Oh my! Bruho is so aggressive. It's actually incredible. He plays like a Krom player. Like Bruho, he just does aerial onto platform, aerial off of platform. And it's annoying, but it's very beatable. He's fought. Really? Oh, sick catch, dude. Oh my gosh, the armor into the up ear. You always think you're safe. You always think, okay, his armor's over. It's never over. It's still on and you're dying. That's the matchup check right there. If K Roll is getting punishes on return crown, it's because you're throwing. He doesn't do it as often, the blunderbuss of the platforms. That's fantastic, but I feel like the platforms really do help out Mute Ace a lot more. What a Looney Tunes character. Woo! Reach! With like so much multiverses, I'm like, oh, he dodges here. <laughs> you can't do that. I mean, you get neutral air dodge, but then you're dead anyway, I think. He's low-key kind of fast. Oh, whoa, he's got a bomb. Just throw it up, right, and see what happens. Yeah, oh god. He lived? Why is this shit so weak? <gasps> Why didn't he die either? What the hell? What? He got another one immediately. That's absurd. He, did you see how quick Mude tossed that bomb after seeing the blunderbuss like Cannonball come out? He said, nah, I don't want to test this. He still died anyways. He, they, that, that took his life once he got sent off stage. That is insane how he pulled two bombs. What the fuck? Two bombs this time. <laughs> Drop the stock. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, two bombs back to back. I don't even know what the chances are of getting that. It's That's insanity. And then he pulls the winky phase. Don't be surprised if he pulls a stitch phase this game either. Early percent, just peach things. Come on, just go for the tech chase with the up air. Look at the respect! No, 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 that's not good. He's respecting the blunderbuss. That's gonna be intel for Brujo now. You can't do that. You you just cannot do that against K. Rule. It never works. Also, that killed at 112. Wrong. Slap! Clap! Small battlefield. Oh, he got that immediately. Saturn is so scary. Probably not for K. Rule, though. You're using the armor anyway. <laughs> you just know not to shield, so you're just gonna mash aerials. And now the winky face? Wow, the follow up from that, too. That was disgusting. 
He's avoiding the forward airs. Like, you know where he's going to be swinging. Oh, lazy, lazy landing. He's like, yeah, I'll armor through whatever. Tactical mashing. What happened here? Jesus. Well, hold on. How did the shield get low in the first place? From full shield to... Wow. One forward air to down smash is a shield break? That's insane. Ultimate has a lot of those. Just like belly flop down smashes that are extreme danger to shields. There's a lot of that stuff. Very funny. Oh! Ah, you thought you could get around it. Huh? No, he wants the clip so bad. What are you doing? Honestly, that's the kind of move that loses a lot of people a set. Because they start feeling themselves a little bit too much. They're like, okay, I'm going to throw out something they'll never expect. I'm about to make the upset of my life. Let me go for this. And then it totally whiffs and then you lose. Why did that almost kill? Oh. Hardest read right here. Should have won. And, 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 like, what? It just... Sakurai, explain! How does this not counter? Oh, he's got stitch face. That should have been it. Oh! <gasps> Pixels off. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are the moments where champions are crowned. Look how like frame perfect this turnaround up tilt is. So this is still the roll get up animation. Uh, damn! Like <laughs> that's the up tilt startup animation. That's the end of the roll. That was a frame perfect turnaround up tilt. And it caught his dash. That was disgusting. Alright, Brujo. I I like how aggressive he is. That was incredibly close. A huge upset to Brujo. Congratulations to him on that. Well done to Brujo. But this wasn't the only person he beat. He also beat Yossi. So already off the bat, I already know how this is going to go. Yossi's going to put in mad damage and is not going to be able to kill Brujo. Brujo is going to get a nasty hit with the way that Brujo plays. Super aggressive. He does really, he, he does a really good job with option coverage, especially on these platform stages. Um, And off of the rage alone... Big boy K roll rage. Sheik, you sneeze on Sheik? She dead. She dead. She is blown up. Yeah, imagine playing Ice Climbers and Sheik. This dude, this dude loves melee. You gotta work on that mass, Chef. That was trash. Yeah. You can't ever be on a platform against that character. At least not against, not as K roll. It's so easy to just get under there and pull you down into that. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? He didn't even throw him. He just caught it. It just ended up on his head. I guess maybe because Sheik is so skinny. This is so scary, Sheik, because you got to, like, navigate these hitboxes and get in multiple times. That's disgusting. So that's something else. The down smash, the way that Brujo uses down smash is so good. In a game where spot dodging is super important, spot dodge gets punished with it. Oh, man. Not the down smash going over the entire down tilt. I hate those belly flop down smashes. Ah, that move. That move. I, I said before that you just shield uh, K. Rule because he's just going to neutral air. Uh, but you can't shield that because you will get your shield broken. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I was wrong. You need strong mental to play K. Rule or really any heavy. You have to realize that percent doesn't matter. I say this is a former heavy player. Reformed. 
So how do you lose this? Like, how do you drop this extremely good advantage state? Not throwing out up smash? Could've just reacted? Crown. The angles! The angles that he gets! That was disgusting! The fall from these crowns! He always knows exactly where they're gonna get tossed out. All that effort. Oof. I feel like late meta K rule is all crown follow-ups. They love that stuff. Yeah, even though Yossi got hit by the weak down smash though, you, you know that there is fear right now, especially when that didn't kill. What? What happened? What? Neutral hit him the other way? Yeah, you hit the back part. That sucks. I don't know if I've ever seen that. That is so unlucky. With K Rule specifically, there's a lot of a, a lack of matchup practice. I mean, there's not a lot of K Rolls out there. It's not easy to play this character efficiently. You, again, you are combo food, especially in a matchup like this. Bruce playing this so well. Uh, you don't have to save like reads and stuff as Sheik, I don't feel like, because like you get out frame data most characters, and like it doesn't matter. Like saving up smashes or like roll reads or whatever. Like you should be able to out neutral your opponent and like keep them in disadvantage. Like in basically any scenario. So like you see a kill, you take it. Or else you're gonna your opponent's gonna lift to two hundred and you're gonna die at eighty. And you're gonna be upset. That was You need to have killer instinct if you're playing Sheik. Like what a scoop. Getting edge guarded by K Rule as Sheik. Keck W. Woo! Speaking of killer instinct, this guy's got it. Oh! Can you imagine if he got that? The Vanish would have let Yossi come back, but it's the mental damage! No, Brujo has momentum and he is playing like he just drank like 10 cans of monster energy drink. I swear. Down throw. Yeah, he's dead. I wonder if he had to jump back. I thought he was just up tilt. Oh, this is me swamp. Follow up with the crown again. And this is really good stuff for Brujo because now he's got the lead. He's got the rage. He's got platforms to mix stuff up in. He can land. He tried to use the, the armor on the Nair to try to land, actually. He's like, if I can't land, I'll force myself to. What? Why does that always work? And it's always at the end. That does so much shield pressure. Just like that, huh? Sets over just like that. That was disgusting. Oh, yeah, it was the shield grab. The shield grab sealed his fate. Look at that. So he shield grab. He does a early neutral air, not landing into him, and crosses up. Yeesh. Dead at 46. Ouch. Surprise it worked again? Big dub. Big dub for Brujo. That's nice. What a stupid character. That was pretty good. What are your thoughts about K-Roll, guys? What do you, where do you guys think K-Roll stands in the overall matchup scores here? Top 24 losers. So that means he got top 16. Oh my god. On K-Roll. Impressive. Character's still not good, though. Sorry. Let me know your thoughts, guys, though, down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe here to the Panda YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye!